Hey everybody, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here, and today we are checking out the new Double Tap plugin from Submission Audio. Now Submission have been known for the gin bass, euro bass, they've now got a, a limiter called Flatline which I use all the time and they've now come out with the Double Tap which is a easy solution to get your low end under control. You can use it on kick drums but it's mostly a bass instrument really, um, you can use it on anything aggressive, anything not aggressive, it's got two big knobs and they do simple things. One compresses the low end to keep it tight, one compresses everything to keep things like big spikes from taking over your mix, then there's a couple of volume knobs to nudge it back up and there's a little slider in the middle and that's it, nice and simple. I like nice and simple, um, even though I like complicated as well, sometimes it's better to just have a thing that does a thing. Uh, for this video I've used my trusty seven string bass because it's a bass video so I've done all the range. Uh, I'm going from this into this lovely Avalon U5 over here, so it's pretty much a pure tone coming straight off the bass. Sounds like this. And you can hear when I'm doing those little pull-offs there that it's quite nicely controlled uh, because Double Tap is already on that channel. So it's doing exactly what you would expect it to do. Now let's go over to Studio B and have a play around with this in a slightly more nerdy fashion and see what each knob does. So here's the track that I was uh, doing a playthrough of before. It was based on a different track that I did that had an absolute wall of guitars on. Uh, so I will show you that as well and show you how the low end in the bass on that track has double tap, which really solidifies it. But first, let's look at all these because as you could see on the video, there were four bass tracks going and that's a lot. But with all four going, it's a bit crazy, a bit mental, but... The low end in there is absolutely solid. If I turn off all the double taps, this is gonna be a lumpy mess. Now, if you're listening on headphones, you'll suddenly hear that the low end especially is kind of big, then gone, then keep it's all over the show without double tap. So this is number one track. So I'm running uh, a very clean bass signal through a more traditional Ampeg amp there. Sounds like this, quite big and thick. But there is no compression going on. I wanted to show you double tap specifically. Now, as you can see, it's a very simple plugin, so this is not going to take me nearly as long as it usually does, uh, but even if you hover over any of the controls, it gives you uh, the exact explanation of what's going on. So it even gives you ideal amounts of how much you should use. Uh, so there's the low frequency uh, compression, which I'm just going to turn off the all compression for the minute. 
these two knobs are how much of the low compression you want and then how much volume you want to change after the fact. So I've got the low compression here about halfway up. And this is like if you got a multi-band compressor and then just selected a specific low band, set everything behind the scenes perfectly. And that's kind of what this is. It simplifies the whole process. So without that, the low end will suddenly be, it'll be there, but it'll be all over in terms of lots, then none, then lots, then none. And then with that on. And then the all comp is a very gentle compressor that I can add in afterwards. And because I've compressed the low end first, that's not causing the second compressor uh, set to go crazy with heavy low end and all the uh, kind of detail of the top end isn't suddenly disappearing with a big low bump, which is what used to happen to me with traditional compressors when I hit them quite hard, is that if you hit a compressor quite hard and it's got loads of bass in, suddenly all the high end detail is gone because that level's pushed down by the compressor. And so the only real uh, things left are the saturation, which goes from glue, which is quite kind of nice, subtle. Uh, and then there's no saturation in the middle. And then there's grunt, which is more aggressive, which I tend to like more out of the three of them. And I can hear with that grunt, it's coming forward a little more. And then there's the EDM button, which seems to be much more aggressive. And then... That will that'll suit synth basses much better. But for this case, I've turned that off. And then I've got a very similar setup on these other three basses. So this is bass number two. Now this one's got the low compression really quite aggressive because I don't want this to overtake how much low end there is in bass number one, which is kind of the primary low end. Uh, you know, it's a bit of the joke of Spinal Tap of having several basses. It's a difficult thing to do uh, because of exactly this problem. The third one. The d -d 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 on the, the finger style of the bass but the low compression is so high here that it's stopping that from becoming uh, a problem and uh, overly flubbing out the mix and then there's the last one which isn't so heavily compressed it's quite a gentle part it's almost I call it the Game of Thrones part because it, it kind of it gives the impression of the the theme of Game of Thrones by doing that uh, uh, cycling round thing and the four of them together. Which sounds huge and that's four basses in parallel then with one clean guitar and some drums for the final mix. Now this version of it is is the same piece but with only the main bass but also with eight guitar tracks and listen to this it's huge But if I turn off double tap, which is keeping that bass absolutely solid on the low end, you'll still hear the bass, but listen now how it kind of comes in and out of the, the busy mix. And rather than having to do the whole multi-band and clever thing, if this is gonna get lost and then I'll turn double tap on and the bass will suddenly become solid.
very impressive. So I'm going to be using double tap in any really dense modern mixes that I do from now on because that kind of thing is really going to save me a lot of time and is doing something that I could do if I spent a long time really getting specific. But why would I when I can just use this and just turn up a couple of knobs and I'm done? I like uh, I like plugins like that. So double tap, you're in. So there you have it. Hope you found that useful. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks to Submission Audio for supplying the uh, uh, the double tap plugin, and uh, thanks everybody. So I'll see you all in the next video. Ta ta for now. Hey everyone. That might be the end of the video, but if you fancy carrying on this conversation, we have a Discord server. Link is in the description. We're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hot Pole Studios. See you there.